Hey, welcome back to another video by DJ SPRC. Today I wanted to show you how to change the gears in the Traxxas Servo. This is the 2082 gears and with the 2080. Basically this is the servo they use in the Traxxas E Revo 116. And a couple other machines they do use the, 20, uh, the 2080. And that's, this guy here has uh, busted gears inside that we're going to swap out by these gears here. Now, one of the things I would suggest is the gear set comes with an instructions like this right here to take the time and read them. They show you how exactly how the gears they go together and exactly where on the servo itself. Now, I already started removing some screws here. I only have one left to remove. Remove this one right here. And be careful when you're going to remove these screws here. There is a small gasket uh, on the screw itself. Now, one of the first thing I would suggest to do is get your camera or your phone ready to take a picture. Because what I would suggest is once you remove the top cap, this guy here, is to take a picture how the gears go together. And there is some debris inside. You want to notice how the... Uh, output shaft o-ring that's right here then you have the output gear that's this guy right here not sure if you guys can see it and then after that you'll have the top reduction gear this guy right here then the center reduction the bottom reduction that's right here where the basically motor is just take a look inside and determine which gear is damaged what I'm seeing is the top reduction gear that this guy right here. Now we're going to remove the output gear. And put this aside. And just inspect it. Make sure there's no debris in the small gears. If there is, remove it. Because if you don't, basically it'll damage itself. But in our case here, we do have a, a brand new one that we're gonna use. Now we just need to remove the physical O-ring that's right here. That's not supplied in the kit. And put on top of this guy. make sure it's seated now I don't know if you notice there is a gasket that goes around the servo completely put it aside we'll come back and put this guy after now removing the top reduction gear I don't know if you'll be able to see it I don't know if she's gonna focus a bit maybe not but there is missing uh, some splines on it. Put that guy aside. Now inspect the rest to make sure there's no debris again. If there is, you can use a brush and basically remove the debris out of the way. Everything looks clean and perfect. And let's grab our reduction gear, top reduction. The two other ones we were not going to change. On this guy here, doesn't matter what direction you put it in. It just doesn't matter. But the one that does matter is the top one now. There is a specific way to put it. And basically, there's two notches on both sides. You want the notch equal on both sides. And just push it down. I wiggle everything to make sure everything's fine. Everything seems to be seated correctly. 
And let's put our gasket back. If you forget to put this gasket back on, your servo won't be water, water resistant. Gaskets back. Now always make sure to look in your top cap that there's no debris. If there's any debris and it goes between the gears, it will eat itself again. And now you can basically put your cap back on. Make sure your gasket is seated correctly. Grab your screws. And you don't want them too tight and you don't want them too loose too. I'm going to do them in crisscross to make sure there's equal pressure, but again, not too tight. And I always take a look around where the gasket is to make sure it stays seated. It is. And we'll go for the other one. Screw this guy in, but thick. There we go. Tighten this guy. There we go. Again, inspect the seal. Seal's fine. Grab my servo tester. Grab my battery. Put it to neutral. Now if I did my job correctly, it should go to neutral. But I'm assuming it was pretty much, it did. Okay, let's go to auto. I'm not sure if you guys see it. It's a funky way to do it, but you see it move and we're not hearing any uh, grinding, any breakage inside. This is how you rebuild a Traxxas Servo 2080 with the 2082 gears. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Please hit it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it does help me at the same time. Thank you, guys.